Okay, so hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sandra Adeya Yebelo. I'm popularly known as The Different Woman. This is my creative corner where I get to share myself with you as a storyteller, a tutor, and also a thought leader. Um, so today we're talking about creating stories. Creating stories, of course. Um, I want to start by saying that stories are tools. They are mainly just as good as the user. They are mainly just as good as the medium, as the storyteller. Okay, so of course, you know your fork and knife that you used to eat. They are tools to use to eat. Okay, so um, your shovel that you use for gardening, it's a tool. And someone asked a question on an audio event that I attended recently saying, do guns kill people? And we all agreed that guns do not kill people. People kill people. Guns are merely tools used to protect or harm people. That's the same thing um, when we talk about storytelling. Your stories are just tools. They need you to guide them. They need you to tell them. So, of course, it is only as good as you, the teller. It is only as good as you, the writer, the creator, to tell the right story. So, hey, I have some tips here that I want you to take note of when telling your stories. These can help make your stories better. Okay, so the first tool here is to know your audience. Know your audience. Don't tell kindergarten stories to professors or vis-a-vis. -vis. So this is a common mistake I see a lot of creators making here on LinkedIn, where they try to sound very, um, they, they are experts, of course, but hey, most people don't understand who their audience are. You're sounding experts so, so, um, so in tune with your knowledge that you forget that your client might not necessarily have the same knowledge that you do. The only people who would have similar knowledge are people in your industry who might not necessarily need your services. So you need to understand as a creator who you are creating for. Know your audience. They don't speak like you. So you have to, you have that knowledge you have to come down to their level to explain to them to get your message across so know your audience that's the first thing number two know the occasion know the occasion don't go telling a celebratory story at a funeral don't talk about unattainable things to the poor for example uh, people going to do um People going for retreats or going to help the poor and then they are wearing designer clothes or, you know, um, going in Ferraris and so on. You're going to talk to the poor and you want them to listen to you, but you're flaunting your riches in their faces, right? What kind of story does that tell them? That shows you as proud, um, um, braggish, you know, and they will, you have lost their attention because they won't pay attention to you anymore. So you have to go and tell your story the the right way look like your audience speak like them to get across to them okay so the next way to tell good stories is to know your platform know your platform you are not there for you you are not telling your story for you for your own enjoyment no you are not telling your story to enjoy yourself you are your audience is king. Your audience determines what they want to see, what they want to hear. So, hey, stop telling that story and to enjoy. Oh, I love this kind of story. So I want to tell this story. It's not about you. And remember, the platforms determine um, the attention span. So I first started by sharing that I have worked from print to radio to TV, film, and now I'm on the digital space. Now I can tell you something about the digital space. Here on LinkedIn, you can get uh, people to read long articles, newsletters, and so on. But hey, if you try that on Instagram, they will scroll past because Instagram is more of the visual platform. People on there only care about your pictures and videos right so hey know the audience know the platform to get across to them and also even when you want to write long um epistles a platform like twitter gives you opportunities to break it into paragraphs right so you have threads to write and you need to know that and also if you go to tiktok you need to understand that you need to catch your audience's attention within the first two seconds if not they will scroll past so you need to as a storyteller know the platform where you are telling your story to or through okay to be able to tell a good story now the last one the last tip is to know the channel of communication understanding the channel of communication is key to utilizing it to its peak 
Remember that we first had faxes, then we had telephone machines, and then we had chats. Now we have different social media platforms. It's different when you want to tell a story um, through letter form, and then when you want to tell a story in video format. You need to understand the differences in these mediums. So there are different forms of communication, non-verbal, verbal, written, and oral. Okay, so you need to understand how your audience communicates to communicate better with them or to them okay so for example you want to sell to illiterates people who don't know how to read and write if you put your message in a newspaper would they understand you will they get that message no they will not because hey they don't know how to read and write so why would you go and put your message your story in a newspaper for them they can understand you when you make it an audio or video format to get across to them. And also, it is important, remember that we talked about this, know your audience, knowing your audience. So you have to speak like them. Don't go speaking like an expert to them. So for example, I want to talk to, um, in Nigeria now, I want to talk to people, um, older people, people that are in the villages and so on. I won't go there speaking like this. I would have to speak like them. They have something they call Pidgin English. And better still, if I know how to speak their language or I can get a translation, it is better for me that way my message will get across to them so as a storyteller you need to know that knowing your audience knowing how to communicate to your audience is important so that your message doesn't get lost in transit okay learn your audience learn their platform learn their attention span and learn their communication methods it's the same thing in relationships when we say there are different forms of showing love so there are acts of service and so on right so you need to understand it's a relationship between you and your audience as a storyteller learning to create good stories builds it's it's about you building that relationship with your audience okay so that's basically it about creating stories that's it about creating stories now i also want to point out there that there are also cultural differences cultural differences so for example down here in nigeria there are sects um certain people that eat dog meat but there are also people that treat dogs as their children that have them that have them as pets and they that actually adopted them as children so if you are telling a story, you know, of like a dog eating, whatever, to people that are, that actually adopted dogs as their children or pets, are you not going to be offending those people? So you need to understand who your audience is and not to offend them by telling stories that will not appeal to them. Remember that your audience is king and you're not telling that story just for yourself. You're telling that story for your audience. So remember that cultural differences also apply. So learn when to tell what story who to tell it to, how you're telling it, and so on. It is very important, okay, in getting your message across. Remember that stories are merely tools. You as the storyteller, you are the handler, and your story is only as good as you, okay? So overall, I would end by saying keep practicing, keep honing that skill, keep improving. My name is Sandra Adeya Yebelo. I'm a storyteller, a thought leader, and also a tutor. Thank you so much for listening to today's Sub's Creative Corner, episode three, where we're talking about creating stories. Do you have any questions, observations, feedback? Hey, reach out to me. Um, click that hand symbol on your screen and come on stage and let's talk. 